Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Gulfstream Park here on Wednesday. It is the 3rd of February, 2021. Going to look at the ninth race from Gulfstream, but before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kit 5 for more selections for race courses around the world. Let me hear around the world. Let's look at the ninth race from Gulfstream, which is allowance optional claimer, purse $48,000. This race is for Phillies Mayors, four year olds and upwards, never won 10000 twice, main claiming starter or state allowance race, blah, blah, blah. Blah blah blah. Optional claim price six two fifty, six two thousand five hundred dollars. Field of eight horses going for. 1400 meters or seven furlongs on the main track my top selection we're going to take the two horse velvet crush we'll go two six eight four in the superfecta two six eight four super top selection of two horse velvet crush this four-year-old filly by tap it tyler gaffleone gets them out for chad brown the horse is most recent adding 20th of august under the previous care of rudolph said came at saratoga one mile in the grade three lake george and the horse finished ninth by five and a half lengths there and you know the last two races of the running cycle have been quite bad um, that day at Saratoga, the horse just didn't break that well and just never showed up. It was behind the A-ball. The horse does the better running style, I think, on the front end. Hopefully it breaks well today. Back to a one-turn uh, sprint, which I think he really likes. I think she's in a more realistic spot to win. Two back in the grade one coaching club, American Oaks of Saratoga. A mile on the 8th, July the 18th. The horse lost all chances at the beginning, not breaking well, and then finishing fifth by 18 lengths. You know, tough competition, not a router. She just wasn't getting into it. And then prior to that, the 11th of June at Churchill. A mile 16th and optional 75. She won by one and three quarter length, uh, by three quarters in length there. Had easy, easy fractions to go with, and she just got the job done winning very nicely at 17 to 1. Then prior to that, first time facing winners off the long five month refreshing here at Goldstream, six and a half in lounge race, 46,000 in mid May. She finished six by 13 and a half lengths there, and I think she needed the race. She just never really could keep up late, and, um, you know, just needed the race there. Uh, and then the main victory prior to that here at Goldstream, seven eighths a mile, main special weight, 40,000. She was a main victory impressively that day, winning by eight and a half lengths. She stuck, she got the lead, and uh, ran a little bit too fast at three quarters, one and nine and two. That's why she probably was off the bench for five months but she still got the job done winning very very nicely um that afternoon but um i like her back to the seven furlongs hopefully breaking well sitting a little closer at four to one she's a very likely winner stepping down in class six horse lake avenue you have to use in the multi-race this foil philly by tap it also junior alvarado gets enough for belmont most recently at churchill in november the horse just never really showed up was stupidly wide and it wasn't a recipe for success and then prior to that in the, in the fantasy the horse really never showed up either like the other horse, this horse I think will do a lot better around one turn, seven furlongs. It's been training well pace, and at five to one, we'll give this horse a shot on the multis also. But to recap my selection for the ninth from Goldstream, let's take the two horse Velvet Crush, give kudos to the six horse at Leggy Avenue. We'll go two, six, eight, four in the Superfecta, two, six in the multi race. So good luck to all, and please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kit 5. Good luck, everybody.